Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and in this quick video today, I'm going to show you how to get multi-track recording in Zoom. I was talking to a friend of mine recently about how I like to use Zoom as a backup recording. Uh, what I will do for my own guests is I'll record my side of the audio using uh, GarageBand, and I will ask them to record their side of the audio using QuickTime or Sound Recorder or some other application already on their computer. I have instructions uh, that I like to send my podcast guests ahead of the recording time so that they know what to expect and exactly what to do. Uh, but in the event that the recording somehow uh, gets corrupted or doesn't record all the way or something else happens, uh, which are things that have happened to me, I like to record the Zoom call as a backup. Now, by default, Zoom has a single track with all of the attendees. Uh, their audio is combined, but there is a way to set up multi-track recording, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you can see I have my Zoom account open. If I go to zoom.us up here in the menu bar in Windows, this might look a little bit different. But if I go to preferences, you'll see the settings pop up uh, and I'm on the audio tab, but we actually want to go to the recording tab. There are a few options here, like where the recording will go uh, if you want to choose your location. But the tick box we want is record a separate audio file for each participant. So when this is checked, you will get the combined audio, but you'll also get a separate audio for each caller. So if I open up the local recording file, I can show you exactly what this looks like. So you can see I have a few recent calls here. I'll just pick uh, this one. I think we had three people in this call. Yeah, we definitely did, right? So first of all, if I go back, you'll see the audio only. This is everybody. You'll see the uh, MP4. That's the video file that was created. But if I click audio recording, I have a separate track for me. A separate track for my co-host and a separate track for the guest so for actually this is a perfect example right because for the podcast for this specific podcast this isn't my main podcast um we're working with mostly people who aren't too uh, tech savvy a lot of them are calling in on their phone and they just don't have the means to record their side of the audio separately and then send it so this is be, uh, becoming hugely helpful because I record my audio still in GarageBand. My co-host Liam records his side of the audio and sends it to me. And then we could use the isolated audio of our guest uh, in the edit. So this was just a quick tip I wanted to walk you through. Again, to do that, you would go to uh, in Zoom, you would want to go to preferences or settings to record and make sure that record a separate audio file for each participant is checked. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel for more great content.